Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great week this week. This month, we're finding out how to make peace. Peace is proving that you care more about each other than winning an argument. When you make peace, it's like you're building a bridge across to the other person. You can reconnect with them and you can show them that you care even if you don't always agree with them. In the Bible, we can read all about God's story and the people who followed God. Abraham was one of those people. God made a big promise to Abraham. He promised to use Abraham's family to bless the whole earth. And God made that same promise to Abraham's son, Isaac, when he lived in the land of the Philistines. In Genesis 26, 4, God told Isaac, I will make your children after you as many as the stars in the sky, and I will give them all these lands. All nations on earth will be blessed because of your children. God kept that promise to Isaac by blessing him in a big way. The land of the Philistines, where Isaac lived, had experienced a famine, which means that there wasn't enough food. But God blessed Isaac's crops. and gave him a large harvest. Unfortunately, the Philistines who lived nearby became jealous of Isaac's success. They shoveled dirt into his wells and plugged up the water source. I mean, that is seriously rude. The king of the Philistines, Abimelech, had a message for Isaac. He told Isaac to move away because he had become too powerful. Isaac could have fought the king. After all, it wasn't really a fair fight. And Isaac had plenty of men who could stand up against the Philistines and fight. But instead, he chose to keep his cool. Isaac and his family packed up everything that they owned and they moved down to the Valley of Gerar where his father Abraham had lived many years before that. So as they got settled into the Valley of Gerar, Isaac's men dug another well. Abraham's old well was filled with cool, clear water once again. The happy herds and the flocks could drink their fill. And that was all well and good until the nearby Philistine herdsmen showed up. The Philistines argued with the people who took care of Isaac's herds, saying that the water was theirs. But Isaac didn't fight with the Philistines again. He and his family moved. Isaac's servants set out and they dug a new well. But the Philistines showed up to claim that one too. And once again, Isaac chose not to fight. He packed everything up and he moved again. His servants dug yet another well. And guess what? This time, no one challenged Isaac or his servants. No one argued with them about the well. They were left to tend their flocks and herds in peace. One day, Isaac spotted King Abimelech along with a host of advisors that were headed his way. But don't worry, this time the king and his men weren't coming to run Isaac out of town. Isaac asked why they had come, and here's what they said. We saw clearly that the Lord was with you, so we said, there should be an agreement between us and you. We want to make a peace treaty with you. Give us your word that you won't harm us. We didn't harm you. We always treated you well. We sent you away peacefully, and now the Lord has blessed you. The king had seen how God was blessing Isaac and his peacemaking ways. As a result, the king wanted to make an agreement so that he and Isaac could keep the peace with each other. Isaac agreed, and he even prepared a feast for the Philistines. 
Early the next morning, they made an agreement to keep the peace with each other. And then the Philistines went on about their way. Even though Isaac had the power to win a fight, he chose to stay strong and walk away three times in a row. And God had blessed him with peace. God wants us to make peace too. So remember, Isaac's story shows us this truth. You can show you care about others by walking away from a fight.